So I'm not coming back from this cattle drive, am I? It was nice knowing you. Heartland is a Canadian family comedy drama television series which debuted in Canada on CBC on October 14, 2007. The series is based on the Heartland book series by Lauren Brooke and follows Amy Fleming and her older sister Louise Lou Fleming on their family ranch in Alberta, known locally as Heartland, where they live with their widowed grandfather Jack Bartlett, their father Tim Fleming, and hired farmhand Ty Borden. While experiencing the highs and lows of life at the ranch, the family bonds and grows closer over the years. We took a closer look at behind the scenes secrets of the show. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Let's look at some behind the scenes secrets of Heartland. Drinking in Alberta The legal drinking age is set at 18 in Alberta, Canada, where Heartland is set. This explains how characters like Ty, Caleb, and Jade can drink alcohol without legal consequences. A growing problem of rising and overconsumption of alcohol, particularly among young adults just at the legal drinking age, has however raised alarms in Canada. Since 2000 and the release of the Canada Low Risk Alcohol Drinking Guidelines in 2011, the first such national guidelines, many can Canadians have been on a mission to reduce alcohol consumption across the board. Much research has been done on how harmful even moderate alcohol consumption can be and the serious long-term effects on young adults ages 18 to 24 when risky alcohol consumption peaks. Heartland is actually a working cattle ranch in Alberta, Canada. The familiar Heartland barn and ranch house are all part of a working cattle ranch in Millerville, Alberta. We know from Roy Foster that his parents moved to the ranch in 1928 to raise white-faced Hereford cattle. Roy has many happy memories from growing up on the property with his two brothers. One of his brothers, Les, actually built the big red barn that appears on the show. Today, the ranch is privately owned and only the Heartland cast and crew have access. While you can't visit the real Heartland Ranch, you can swing by other filming locations in Millerville. A popular destination for Heartland fans is the Millerville Angelican Church that hosted Lou's wedding in Season 3. Not far from the chapel is the Millerville Farmer's Market and Racetrack. This is where all the horse racing and rodeo scenes are shot. Places open for visitors all year round, but a good time to visit is between mid-June and October, as this is when the farmer's market is open. The book series is a Canadian first. The book series upon which Heartland is based off of is one of Canada's most extensive and large book series for middle grade readers in public school book order lists from Scholastic, surpassing Animorphs, Goosebumps, the Candy Apple Poison Apple series, the Secret World of Alex Mac series, and the 39 Clues series, among others. Yes, the books are a source of national pride to Canadians. Fans can visit Maggie's Diner in High River. The set for Maggie's Diner, Chack and Feed, can be found on the 3rd Avenue of High River, Alberta. High River appears as the fictional town of Hudson in the show and is around a 30-minute drive away from Calgary. While Maggie's is not a working diner, fans can visit the building and look through the windows at any time. On the other hand, a real-life version of Maggie's is located on 4th Avenue. This retro diner is called Evelyn's Memory Lane, where visitors can sample Alberta's great food and hospitality. But there's more High River can offer to the fans of Heartland. The Museum of the Highwood, for example, displays a selection of costumes and props that appear in the show. During filming season, passerby can also spot the trailers of the Heartland crew behind the building. If you stroll down High River, you'll also come across several shops selling Heartland souvenirs. Some good ones to pop into are Olive and Finch, right next to Maggie's Diner, or Walker's Western Wear. Mr. Hanley did not know he was dead. According to an interview with actor Julian Richings, who played the minor supporting character, Mr. Hanley, he was not informed when his character was written off as dead. Instead, he had been watching TV with his daughter and had randomly come across the aired scene where Mr. Hanley had been found dead off screen by main character Amy Fleming. The show most likely wrote off the character because Richings was busy in other roles at the time of Heartland's filming. That must have been quite the moment, realizing you're dead when watching television with your daughter. I can only imagine what the next telephone conversation must have been like with the showrunners. Most of the Heartland horses belong to the famous wrangler, John Scott. John Scott is the head wrangler of Heartland who coordinates all scenes involving horses. Not only that, but he also supplies the show with horses, cattle, tack, and some of the filming locations. 
However, Heartland is only one of the legendary Wrangler's many projects. Over the past 50 years, John Scott made a name for himself as an actor, producer, Wrangler, stunt coordinator, and promoter. He was the head Wrangler of The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, and executed scenes with several hundred horses. John Scott also co-founded Stunts Canada in 1970, an association of professional stunt performers. His own company, John Scott Productions and Motion Picture Animals, has catered to dozens of major film productions over the last 30 years. The former rodeo rider has worked with every animal imaginable over his career. However, his specialty lies in horses, cattle, and buffaloes. He also has a collection of wagons, buggies, props, trucks, and trailers available on demand. As far as horses and stunt work go, John Scott is the best of the best. He'll also tell you that more horses have appeared on Heartland to date than actors with lines. His grandson, Jake Scott Church, also appears on the show as Mallory's boyfriend, Jake. How child labor laws in Canada influence Lindy's role. The character of Lindy Borden is played by twins because of child labor laws. One twin works for a certain number of hours before she has to go home, and then the other twin takes over. Ingenious, if you ask me, but also kind of ridiculous. When someone enjoys something, are they still working? The horse Stormy has been playing Spartan since day one. Stormy is a black quarter horse gilding who portrays Spartan on Heartland. He's been Spartan's main equine actor throughout the entire series, starting from age five. The role of Spartan was Stormy's first ever acting job, and it's safe to say he nailed it. Like many professional actors, Stormy also had many stunt doubles over the years. Sunny and Zayeda, for example, doubled for Spartan when Amy was auditioning for Dark Horse in the season five finale. Heartland Record On March 29th, 2015, Heartland officially became the long longest running one hour scripted series in Canadian television history, surpassing the previous record holder Street Legal. Producer Jordy Randall confidently stated that the filming and the production of the series in Alberta over the years has pumped more than $200 million into Alberta's economy. Some Heartland actors are also directors in the show. Both Michelle Morgan, Lou Fleming on Heartland, and Chris Potter, Tim Fleming on Heartland, have directed episodes of the show. But while directing is the next step in Michelle Morgan's career for Chris Potter, it's just a hobby. So far, Michelle has directed one episode of Heartland and three episodes of its spin-off series, Hudson. She also wrote and produced three short films, Save Yourself, 2019, Mi Madre, My Father, 2018, and The Imposter, 2011. Season 14, Episode 9, Final me in the dark marks Michelle's directorial debut on Heartland. In an article on the Heartland blog, Michelle shared how acting and directing at the same time can be challenging. She also thanked the Heartland cast and crew for being so supportive for her new role. But how does one make the transition from acting to directing? As for Michelle, she started by shadowing seasoned directors and asking questions about the process. She also joined the director's chair story and leadership program to further develop her craft. In contrast, Chris Potter already had directing experience before he came to Heartland. He debuted the American crime drama Silk Stockings 1991-1999 and co-produced The Good Witch series 2015-present. to present. As for Heartland, Chris Potter directed 23 episodes to date, some of which are fan favorites. In his interviews, he often talks about the challenge of directing a Heartland episode within the tight CBC budget. He's also eager to share that acting will always remain his true passion. The Real Tie Graham Wardle has brilliantly portrayed Ty Borden for nine seasons and almost ten years. As it turns out, he really isn't too much like his on-screen character. Ty had a rough childhood, and to portray some of those emotions can be a challenge at times. I had a pretty normal childhood compared to him, so I have to do my homework when I'm preparing for some of his interactions with his past. I do enjoy doing it, though. Difficult, but I know the result will be a more interesting character. Wardle said of the character, his hobbies are also a little different, too. I like watching YouTube and Vimeo, playing video games with my friends online, writing, taking pictures. I make short videos that I post on my Vimeo site as well. Well, that's the end of the video for today. What do you think about Heartland? Feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check back for our next video. Until then, stay safe.